hi guys so first i will explain you one big warehouse architecture okay so we will start from here so mkhp mkhp is our ewm warehouse name so we have here four character mkhp okay name could be any it depends upon the business rod means receive on dock storage location so we have one storage location which is a receive on dock okay afs we have another storage location which is available for sale okay means not for storage location available for sale sales okay cons consumable storage location okay we put here consumable products which going to consume very quickly okay so mkw which is the wm warehouse so this is our interim location interim location warehouse i will uh, like if i will show you in the document uh, in this document i will show you one picture see this is the real warehouse uh, oh okay so here we can see the doors multiple doors we have here right so we have every door one specific name here in this warehouse we have the door so here <coughs> this is our inbound okay for inbound this is the zr zone good receipt zone when truck comes here we dock to the door see trucks already docked to the doors these are the doors okay the next point here so we we have assigned i have assigned the door name like door 1 or door 2 so why we have a storage location like this because the for an example it depends upon the business okay in this in this example i'm going uh, you the idea every storage type or like every storage location like where are the structure it depends upon the customer is based on the client requirement okay so here we can see this is the gr zone reception or we can call interim okay when we unload the goods here okay when we receive the good from the vendor we unload goods here the the lorry or like the truck we do the dock here we unload and the other this is the standard staging area which i copied from uh, standard to our custom which is the 9010 and here we have different kind of uh, storage location like uh, hrks fi access bulk or open hrks means high rack storage location okay fix fixed bin bulk bulk area storage location or here we have storage type uh, or here we have uh, open okay so here we have fast moving section okay and slow moving section here we have high rack storage type we have and this is suppose this is a storage type this is the storage type and here we have multiple bins okay in that we have fast moving storage type section or a slow moving section and here we have a normal moving section means storage section okay and here what i wrote here so client wants only this structure for an example uh, example if if the client wants this structure then how we do the customization so we need to define the storage type with the same name in the sap system and we will see how it will do okay how it will work so this is the real time implementation how we do so 0010 is a standard and i have copied from standard to custom so this is the okay 0050 is the standard and i have copied to 0050 to the custom which is the fixed bin and the storage type is fi access 0040 i copied to bulk bulk okay we have bulk storage type open storage type fixed bin storage type or this is the pallet storage type another one is the plts pallet and this is the high rack and another one is the 0070 these are the standard actually and i copied it into our custom so the the functionality will be copied some standard function to will be inherit inherited in your custom okay pallet storage type in the custom okay now if you come to now here if you come here 
एच आर के एस मीन्स हाई रैक एंड ओपन मीन्स ओपन वेयर हाउस आई हैव कॉपी फॉर्म जीरो जीरो वन जीरो इफ आई विल कम हेयर सो आउट बॉन्ड वन आई वन आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द जी आई गुड गुड्स इशू जोन सो दिस इज द डोर वन डोर टू डोर थ्री वी हैव ओके सो हेयर वी हैव मल्टीपल डोर्स बट हेयर वी कैन डिफाइन मोर डोर्स ओके एंड दिस इज सम एंड हेयर एफ एम एस वॉट इज द एफ एम एस हेयर वॉट इज एफ एम एस एस एम एस एंड एम एम एस एफ एम एस मीन्स फास्ट मूविंग स्टोरेज सेक्शन स्लो मूविंग स्टोरेज सेक्शन एंड नॉन मूविंग ओके सो हेयर आई एम गिविंग द स्टोरेज सेक्शन ओनली एच आर पी एस एंड फॉर ओपन रिडायरेक्ट and uh, m001 is the for fixed fixed bin m002 is the hrks higher key storage type so sbt means storage bin type m001 i define means storage bin unit which can contain 1 meter pallet the bin will hold 1 meter pallet 002 will hold 2 meter pallets 3 means 3 meter pallets so this is the structure of the how we do the customization so small small things we need to consider focus here fms sms non moving okay fast moving storage section we have here also fast moving section fast moving section here we have okay so i made this document and in this document what i explain storage bin what we have open for an example here i have how the storage bin would be like for an example 01 01 0 dash okay then 02 see here 06 for an example or 01 01 open this is the static name which i want with every storage bin okay when system generates thousand of bins in my case then with every bin begin of the name opn will come which is the static will come with all the bins then when we see the bin easily we can understand this is the open bin storage means storage uh, bins okay so here what i did actually so here if you see 01 01 okay this is the digits okay or number so for this we take an n for ls stack second is the stack for a stack we take again number number for this dash we take c c means you can take for the dash or you can take here then nn means again label so we have ls stack and labels right so here n means number and last c c c c c c i will i will show you here in the in the scrolling when i will when i will do the record then you can see this is the extra c c c c c c here this is space we put all the c c c why because with because c c c means blank space in template when we going to define the template ls stack label then we use this so this is our so here what i did in the system i generate through system in a single click i generated thousands of bins so normally if we are going to create a bin one by one one by one it takes a lot of time okay so first understand this scenario okay how is our warehouse our warehouse name is mk ew which is the ew warehouse we have fast moving section fast moving section fast moving section here in the bulk storage type in the open storage type or in the we have another one fixed bin storage type pallet storage type or high rack storage type so in this warehouse we have how many storage types 1 2 3 1 means high rack pallets fixed bin bulk and another one is the open storage type which is the open okay then 
this is not actually 1 0 this is actually 0 0 0 0 1 0 I need to because this is a standard okay so this is you can consider as a 0 0 5 0 okay and this is a 0 0 1 0 so this is a GI, GI zone for outbound process this is for inbound so we receive the goods here we do the unloading then we perform this actions in the warehouse so we already know we already know this thing so we uh, storage type then we have a storage section and it contains bins multiple bins so this is the process how we do in the system configuration so here I define the warehouse number based on the warehouse number when we filter so here I created the storage bins which is the high rack storage bin FMS for fast moving and uh, again I copy here I selected this this entry and I search the details now I had created the storage type HRKS so I created here HRKS high rack storage type and now I'm going to create the storage bin for open and I will create from scratch like we have to create for open storage type we have to create for bulb for fixed bin for pallet and for HRKS okay this is the process how we create so I want to give the naming convention okay open warehouse bin start with the zero one and thousand bins will be created at runtime okay and system will create like 10 10 ills for an example 10 into 10 into 10 thousand bins will be created okay so this is the static name which come with the begin of the, all the bins so we know the what is the ails okay the gap we have gallery we can call or like ails we call in the warehouse language so stack so the bin look like this it's like uh, like open 0, 0, 0, 0001 0, 0, 001 then 10 then 10 then 10 then 10 like this it system generates so 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 so here I explain ALS stack and level define. So we have a space, see? A space, three spaces we give here. This three spaces, CCC, we put. Then uh, then A, this is the ALS, then two space, okay? Then a space, then again level, level, then a space. So, Okay, then open 060606 06, 06. storage bins look like this and open contains and it will display the every time, okay, with all the bins. So here in this picture I shown you CCC, this is a space, then and then ALS. If you, if you look like this, ALS, ALS, then stack, then space means dash. So ALS, o, OPN. This is a blank space CCC. It will hold OPN at runtime. AA. AA means will hold 0, 01. Okay. Else, then a dash. Then a space C. Okay. Then 0, 01 stack. NN. Okay. Because the stack is number 0, 06 or 0, whatever. Then, then here we see dash, which is the here C. We can see the blank space. This is a template. Okay. And here we can see the C. In the sequence, you can see here. You can see like this this is a blank space then CCC I explained here for blank space we take C and then else, else here dash is there right dash then here space then C C like this C dash dash okay then number then NN okay this NN will contain at runtime stack number okay stack then again dash this C will hold dash at runtime then level number then 
all the blank spaces so we need to put here cc cc c so you can see like this here is the stack level sorry so this n will contain at runtime else which is the number 1 to 10 at runtime this n n n n n contains stack which is the numbers this c will hold at runtime dash this dash minus sign and and this again c will hold at runtime get the blank okay it will hold dash that's why we put here c this is a template okay so based on this it holds the data and it generates the bins so we can provide here all the details x y and uh, so this is the process how we create the uh, like we i worked on this structure which i built based on this i made this document okay then again this is the i got one error because i uh, forgot to put the increment because if you put one 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 then one 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 by one by one bin will be generated okay if you to put two then two 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 increment will be based on that what you give the here and then after uh, then we save after saving we consider like label stack and else so this n hold else the space this ccc will as a hold at runtime open static you consider like this and then will hold label okay and then next how to create bulk like mass storage means decode means if you want to create multiple bins at this. so here we can see so i will do one thing i will put this uh, document on recording and based on that you can see 